Hi Scorpio, it's me, it's Julia with Scorpio Squad. How is everyone doing? Uh, just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you for your love and support and getting those videos out to other Scorpios so they know the channel and they also get their messages, right? For those of you that are new, this is a strictly Scorpio channel. Everyone is a Scorpio. I do two readings for Scorpio every day, a love reading and a spiritual reading. Um, it's whatever the divine wants me to advise or tell Scorpio for each particular day. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do hit your like button if you enjoyed the video and also hit your notification bell so that way you're notified when I upload new videos. For social media links, to book a personal reading with me, to call one of my live tarot card reading lines because I do have toll free numbers for the USA, for the UK, Ireland and Canada for the live readings. My website to book um, a video reading and then social media to follow me so we could be in contact outside of YouTube, where to leave a donation and for Scorpio Squad official merch, merchandise. <laughs> All those links are listed down below. Just click on show more. Um, you may also want to check out my other channels listed under channels here. Uh, Psychic Royalty, I do life coaching videos there. We talk about the spiritual realm. There's always something there for everyone. Okay, plus I have other channels as well that you may be interested in. Um, with that being said, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for today, for May 30th. All right, I have four different decks in front of me. Uh, the Wisdom Oracle, the Moon Oracle, the Animal Spirit, and the Romance Angel Oracle deck. So I'm going to go to whichever ones are calling me in right now, okay? I'll probably use all of them. So stick to the end, Scorpio. Now I could be picking up your energies or your person's energies, or I'll be telling you what's going on with your person if, if that does come up. We'll look at your finances, what direction you need to go to. Scorpio, there is a message you're going to receive very soon from someone. For Scorpio, May 30th, please. Yes. There's a higher power involved here. That's why this message is coming. It's going to um, enable you to take what's being given in through this message and to think about it and get some rest don't answer right away. Um, you're going to need to take a time out to really think about whatever this correspondence is that's coming towards you. Or maybe you're reaching out to someone and it's um, a sign for somebody or a sign for you from the divine. Um, it could be having to do with a special individual that you've been waiting to hear from or they've been waiting to hear from you. Okay. I feel here, Scorpio, that it's time to get things in order here. It may be your person um, who's going to be communicating to you. They may be preparing everything and planning everything and planning to leave um, where they're at to come towards you. For some of you, I do see a change in living situations. Cards down. To be fair, I feel this person wants to balance things out with you. I also feel for some of you, if you're dealing with court or some kind of court issue, things will turn out in your favor. Spirit is telling me you need to know. What advice do you have? Uh huh. You may be getting help when it comes to some type of legal situation from a friend, from a lover, uh, from your equivalent other. They may be helping you with this particular uh, court situation, Scorpio. You see how the, my phone's going ding, ding. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know for May 30th? 
Yes, I feel it's going to, this help is going to come from your divine fe uh, masculine here. Um, I also feel that the two of you are going, to, if it's a situation where the two of you have been apart and there's been no communication, communication is coming in um, to balance things out between the two of you. Yeah, look at that. You see? Cards never lie. It's co-creating together. It's it's co-creating um, with spirit for divine purpose. Okay? There's mending that's going to happen in this connection for you, Scorpio. What you do with it, it doesn't matter. But at least, you know, the two of you will talk here. Someone is going to tell you the absolute truth. They're going to open up their heart and their soul to you, Scorpio. Um, whatever they're going to tell you may leave you feeling stuck. As to what you truly want to do with this connection. You may not like what you're going to hear. Okay? I feel here you will be giving this person unconditional love. I don't, I feel like you're not, um, you're going to be very poised here. Um, you're still going to come from a place of unconditional love here. And it's saying for you to breathe. Don't create chaos and conflict. Don't fight with this person. Because this is your destiny. The yin is here. You got yin and yang. This is your destiny. Try to work things out if you really love this person and you do see them as your divine counterpart. For Scorpio, please. Yes, and if you can do that, you could be happy, happy with them. But I feel this happy, happy has to come within yourself first before you can be happy, happy with them. Yes. I feel here... Whatever is going to happen here is destined, fated to happen. Either you're going to be with this person or you're not. But I feel that the divine has a plan for you here. It's going to make you very happy. You just need to come to the edge. You need to take a leap of faith. Okay? Scorpio. What guidance do you have for Scorpio for today? What guidance do you have for Scorpio? Your soulmate, for God's sake. So all this coming to the edge and taking a leap of faith is because of this soulmate, this divine counterpart. Okay? The two of you have gone through a transformation. This connection is going through a transformation. You guys need to go the distance and be flexible here. It's not for everyone, but whoever wants it, that's what's happening here. That's what they want you to know. Things are about to change, Scorpio. They're about to change, sweetheart. And I feel big changes are coming in the month of June. There's a lot of passion between you and this person. And you're both going to be very thankful for one another. You're going to be standing in your power here when you connect with this person. Because I feel you have what they need, they have what you need, and together the two of you just mesh. Okay? I feel here in a particular situation you are going to be 
paying attention to what's going on around you, assessing everything, okay? And of course, asking for guidance and wisdom from the divine. When it comes to your love life, when it comes to your career, Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to know, dear angels, for May 30th, please? This person is watching you from a distance, and they're seeing that you are very wise and very beautiful, Scorpio. Let's see what we have. And you are, or handsome. Okay, let's see what does Spirit want you to know from the Romance Angel Oracle deck. In regards to love, what does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Looks like this one. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning into your life, Scorpio. Anything else? For Scorpio for today, May 30th. Here we go. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right, Scorpio, let's see what your animal oracle card is for today. One card, please, for Scorpio. One card for Scorpio for May 30th, please. One card for Scorpio. Okay. Came out of the deck. I'm taking it. Snake spirit. Time to heal. And this healing is probably going to come because the two of you are finally going to mend the situation between the two of you, at least, right? You'll have a better understanding of which way you want to go. Number 55, which is change, right? Time to heal. All of us need healing at times when the snake spirit appears. It is time to repair, renew, and replenish yourself and your vulnerable heart. Self-care and maintenance work are needed so that you can, uh, so that your vitality can arise. Give yourself the space to nourish your own well-being. Vulnerability is necessary for friendships and partnerships to work, which means all of us will have tender emotions at times. Be gentle with yourself and others now. Shed the past and step into a new way of being. For vitality is rising in you. This might be a good time to honor the work you have done to heal, grow, repair, and damage within you, within those you care about, and within your community. Celebrate together how far all of you have come in your healing journey. Amen to that, sister brother. And all of that you have created. Unburden yourself of anything that no longer supports wellness, prosperity, positive relationships and well-being and open the door for the healing to occur all right so maybe you need to heal something from the past maybe you need to have that conversation okay i'm just saying maybe you do so that you can either move forward with it or release it if you don't want to bother with it then Heal yourself, and let's move into the future now, Scorpio. I'm just saying. I'm saying it with love. Okay? We have been on an incredible journey together, and we are healing day by day. And that's a beautiful thing. It's nothing to be ashamed about. Right? It only makes you better. And me and everybody that surrounds us, right? Sending you much love and many blessings, Scorpio. I will see you again tomorrow.